will be able to decide how and where we're going to stimulate new jobs and new hope uh, with free ports, new green industrial zones. We'll be able to cherish our landscape and our environment in the way we choose, backing our farmers, backing British food and agricultural production. And for the first time since 1973, we will be an independent coastal state with full control of our waters, uh, with the UK's share of fish in our waters rising substantially from roughly half today to closer to two-thirds in uh, five and a half years' time, after which there is no theoretical limit beyond those placed by science or conservation on the quantity of our own fish that we can fish in our waters. And to get ready for, those, uh, for that moment, uh, those fishing communities will be helped with a big £100 million pro pound programme to modernise their fleets and the fish processing uh, industry. And I want to stress that uh, although, of course, uh, the, the arguments with our European friends and partners were, uh, were sometimes uh, fierce, this, this is, I believe, a good deal for the whole of, uh, of Europe, uh, and uh, for, uh, for our friends and partners as well. It will not be a bad thing, in my view, for the EU to have a prosperous and dynamic uh, and contented UK on your doorstep. And it will be a good thing. Uh, it, will be, it will drive jobs and prosperity across the whole continent. And I don't think it would be a bad thing if we in the UK do things differently or take a different approach uh, to legislation. Because in so many ways, our basic goals are the same. And uh, in the context of this giant free trade zone that we're jointly creating, the stimulus of regulatory competition will, I think, benefit us both. And so I say again, uh, directly to our EU friends and partners, I think this deal means a new stability and a new uh, certainty in what has sometimes been a fractious and difficult relationship. We will be your friend, your ally, your supporter, and indeed, never let it be forgotten, your number one market. Because although we have left the EU, this country will remain culturally, emotionally, historically, strategically, geologically attached to Europe. Not least, of course, through the four million EU nationals who have requested to settle in the UK over the last uh, four years and who make an enormous contribution to uh, our country and to our lives.